I'm gonna be making this quick tutorial for these two guys because they requested it to me but this video also goes out to anybody else who also wants to learn the way I make HD gameplay for YouTube so I'll start off by showing you guys my frap settings The, the version I'm using right now for Fraps is 3.5.5 which I think is the latest version as of right now and this is the program I use in order to record my gameplay I don't know about any other g programs out there but um, I think this is the easiest and the easiest program to use so I have Fraps Windows always on top checked I have monitor aero desktop DWM checked I have this one checked for now because I'm recording my desktop but I usually don't have it because I don't really record my desktop I usually just record the gameplays or the game I'm playing now for FPS the folder to save benchmarks in depends on you and where you want to save your benchmarks my benchmarking hotkey is at F11 my overlay hotkey is F12 my benchmark settings is at FPS my overlay corner is at hide overlay for now because I don't want you guys seeing the numbers because if I select it at the top right hand corner you guys would be able to see the numbers but since I want this video to look presentable I just have it at hide overlay for now so you guys won't see the numbers but I usually select this option right here when I'm in game so I can see the numbers while I'm playing now for movies um, folder to save movies in depends again on you your video capture hotkey well my video capture hotkey is at F9 my video capture settings is at 60 frames per second and full size the 60 frames per second depends on how good your computer is if you have it at 60 frames per second and you're recording and you don't lag while you're in game then leave it at 60 frames per second but if you lag then I suggest you move down to 50 frames per second and if you're still lagging move down to 30 frames per second but don't go any lower than 30 frames per second because that really that could affect the quality on your video my sound capture setting is record video 7 sound and stereo is checked my record external input is microphone high definition audio device um, my microphone is not really high definition audio I'm just using my laptops microphone which is really not that great it's just normal I guess um so the sound might sound a little so the my voice or the sound might sound a little bit bad when it goes on YouTube I don't know I'll just have to wait and see sorry about that um for my screenshots this really doesn't matter it really I mean it doesn't matter at all cause I don't think you guys are here to learn about screenshots but either way my screen capture hotkey is at F10 my image format is at JPG and yeah that's pretty much it for my frap settings so once you've got those settings ready you know you want to open up combat arms blacklight retribution or even minecraft or any other game you guys play and you know you hit F9 to record and you hit F9 again to stop recording so once you've once you're done recording your game you wanna go to Vegas Pro because that's the program I use to make my the videos HD so before you start bringing in your game to Vegas Pro you wanna go up to the top and click on project video properties and this screen should pop up so under video you go to template and you want to select HD 1080 60i 1920x1080 29.9270 frames per second your width should be at 1920 your height should be at 1080 your field order should be at upper field first 
your pixel aspect ratio should be a 1.0 square your your output ratio should be at 0 degrees original your frame rate should be at 29.970 leave this at off your pixel format should be at 8 bit your full resolution rendering quality should be at best your motion bird type should be at this um, leave this at blend fields make sure you check adjust source media to better match project or render settings and make sure you select start all projects with these settings now you move to audio your master bus mode should be at stereo your number of stereo buses should be at zero your sample rate should be at 48,000 your bit depth should be at 16 your resample and stretch quality should be at best now your ruler time format should be at SMPTE drop 29.97 FPS video your ruler start time should be at that your beats per minute should be at 120.000 your beats per measure should be at 4 and note that gets one beat should be at quarter and you don't do anything in, in summary and nothing in audio CD so when you, once you've got that set up you hit apply and OK and now you go to file import and you bring in your gameplay so you drag it down here and zoom in to make it bigger now when you first look at your video gameplay this black bars might appear so in order to get rid of those black bars you want to right click on top of your video and click on properties and you want to make sure that maintain aspect ratio is not checked so if it is checked go ahead and uncheck it and hit OK and that quickly gets rid of those black bars on the sides so once you've got that ready your video should be at should be like this without the black bars so now if you notice the video is a little blurry and grayish it has no color really so in order to make your video look more HD ish I guess you want to go to to the end of your video and it should be this option that says event FX and click on that and this this screen should appear and you want to select you want to double click Sony Sharpen and double click Sony Unsharpen Mask and then hit OK and now under Sharpen the amount should be at 0 0.25 and for the Unsharpen Mask the amount should be at 0 0.20 the radius should be at 0 0.20 and the threshold should just be at 0 and right off the right off right on like you quickly notice that your video looks looks like it has more color and it looks less less blurish. Like for example, if I uncheck sharpen and unsharpen mask, it looks blurry and grayish. But if I check sharpen, the blurriness kind of like goes away, and the unsharpen mask gives it like a little bit more color. Now I don't know about any other games, but these settings work really well with combat arms. I'm not too sure about other games. Um, you would have to check that for your, check that out for yourself. But if you're playing combat arms, then I suggest you use these settings because it works really well with that game. So now you go all the way. So once you've got your video everything ready, you wanna go to the beginning of your video and click Shift N. And make sure this goes all the way back here, so you just render render the video. Now you go to file, render as, and you want to scroll all the way down to Windows Media Video V11 and click on this little arrow and select 9M VPS HD 1080 30p video and click customize template. Now your template should be a 9M VPS HD 1080 30p video. Now you want to make sure you check include audio your mode should be a quality VVR your format should be a Windows Media 
audio 9.2 the attributes would be BBR quality 10 10 44 khc stereo vvr now moving on to video your mode should also be a quality vvr just like your audio mode which is at quality vvr you gotta make sure both of them are the same your format should be at windows media video 9 your image size should be a high definition 1440 1080 your frame rates should be at 29.970 ntsc your seconds per keyframe should be at 5 and your quality should be at 100 now don't do anything at bitrate don't do anything under index summary and under project go to video rendering quality and click best and leave this the way it is and click ok and click render so now you're pretty much it once your video is done rendering it should be at 1080p I'm actually going to cancel this because I don't want to render this right now. But yeah guys, that's pretty much it. Um, that's the tutorial. Once you render, your video should be at 1080p. And once you upload it to YouTube, it also should be at 1080p. And that's pretty much the way I get my videos to like HD. It's really simple. I don't do a lot of, a lot to my videos. It's just pretty simple stuff that anybody... like like a five-year-old could do or a six-year-old if you teach him nothing fancy just simple stuff just looking through YouTube and learning from other people but yeah guys that's pretty much it um, that's the end of the tutorial if you have any questions just let me know and I'll try to answer them as best as possible and thanks for watching